my lovelies, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be eating Ireland. If you missed my previous Irish installments, I shall put the links down below like always. It's been a little while since I've eaten Ireland, so I'm excited to eat more of it. So this lovely package comes to me from lovely Joshi. Joshi, thank you so much for sending me this little package of Irish treats. And thanks so much for your patience. I know you guys that send me packages end up waiting a long time, but I appreciate your patience. And if you like these kinds of videos, don't forget to subscribe for more eating. All right, let's get started. Let me start with this. And these are O'Donnell's Authentic Hand-Cooked Tippery Crisp. And these are Irish Cider Vinegar and Sea Salt Flavor. Joshi tells me that these are a relatively new brand and recommends that I eat them on buttered bread. <laughs> I have never eaten chips or crisp on bread before. So here they are. A beautiful bag of gluten-free O'Donnell's Authentic Hand-Cooked Tippery Crisp. So Tipperary is a county that's found in Southern Ireland. Let's give that a crack. Oh, they smell great. Nice and vinegared. I love salt and vinegar chips. And this is what they look like inside. Beautiful chip, kind of got nice little bubbles on them. And these look like they have a little bit of a skin on them, so they're unpeeled potatoes. Love that. That's how I like my fries. All right, let's give these a taste. Here we go. Eat the lucky mouse. Mmm. Terrific. Yum. Really great crunches you can hear and really lovely potato flavor. I love a potato chip that actually tastes like potato. There are a lot of chips out there that just kind of taste bland. And this is lovely. It has a really great potato flavor in there along with salt and vinegar. If you've never had a salt and vinegar chip, it's a really amazing combination. It can be quite assertive if you're not used to it because it is vinegar. But this is a really kind of mild vinegar flavor in the sense that it's a little bit sweetened. It tastes kind of malty and really complements the fried flavors of the potato chip. Love it. So as instructed, I'm gonna taste this on a piece of buttered bread. So here's my buttered bread. I'm gonna put some chips on top, or as they say in Ireland and the UK, crisp. And give that a go. Maybe I should fold it in half. Well, let's do this open-faced. All right, here we go. And that's pretty good, especially if you find the vinegar to be a little bit overpowering. The addition of butter and the bread really kind of calms it down. I think my favorite part of that is the whole kind of texture thing you've got going on. You've got the soft buttered bread and then you've got the nice crunchy chip on top. Not bad. Next, we're gonna try this. And this is Candy King and this is a pick and mix. Let me know in the comments below if this is true of all over Europe, where you can go and pick all different kinds of candies in bins and it's called pick and mix. Here in the States you can do that, but it's not ubiquitous. You don't find it everywhere. You can buy foods in bulk like granolas and flowers and stuff in health food stores, and you can get candies, but they're usually individually wrapped and it's not, it's not found everywhere. But from my understanding, at least in the UK and at least in Ireland from what Joshi tells me, and from what I've heard from a few other viewers, you can find this pretty much anywhere in any grocery store and they're just bins of candy and you can fill up a cup and I believe it goes by weight. So in here are a few of Joshi's favorites. Look at this, isn't this great? Joshi said that this one, the Candy King, is the most popular one in Ireland. It can be found in almost every grocery store and cinema, so you can find them at the movies. These look like jelly beans that we have here in the States, but they're more bean-like. I love that. I love to have a little bit of a turn to them. Okay, I'm gonna try a red one. Here we go. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just like a jelly bean, nice and sticky and chewy inside. In terms of flavor, kind of a cherry, punchy flavor. Yum. Let's try this beautiful thing. It looks a bit like a licorice, like a filled licorice. All right, let's see. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. So the outside is like a licorice, but like a cherry licorice. It has that kind of dense texture of licorice, but not the black licorice and its flavor. In this case, it's cherry. And the middle is filled with a nice kind of, almost like taffy, but kind of sherbet. It's like a little crumbly taffy. It's not so chewy, but more kind of soft and a little bit maybe fizzy. Great, and a little bit sour. Really, really fun. It looks like a bear or some kind of critter, but for me, a little menacing. Let's give that a taste. Ah. Mm -hmm. Black licorice, for sure. Mm. Mm. 
Not my favorite by any means, as most of you know, but I think I'm beginning to tolerate it. <laughs> it's not quite as bad as it used to be. Maybe I'm coming along. Yeah, it's not, it's not delicious by any means, and certainly I wouldn't choose it if I were picking my own pick and mix, but it's not as bad as I remember it being, so maybe I'm getting used to this whole black licorice business. I still don't like it, but it's all right. It's not salmiaki. I think salmiaki is a whole nother thing. The salty licorice business is a whole nother game in its own. But black licorice, it's all right. Let's try one more. Let's try one of these blue ones. See what's inside there. Ah! Mmm! That's gum! Is it gum? Mmm! No, it's not. Mmm! It's a taffy, but it has a really nice, soft, melt away, chewy texture. It reminds me a lot of Japanese candies. In terms of flavor, it tastes a lot like ramen -A candy. Ramen -A flavored candy in Japan is also known as soda flavor. And it has this kind of elusive bubble gummy lemon lime flavor. And almost exactly like this. And it's also blue. So if you're in Ireland and you've never had ramen -A candy from Japan, just have one of these little blue guys, blue balls, <laughs> and you'll have something very, very similar to ramen -A. Next we have this candy, and it's called Big Zappers. Big Zappers Sour, Mega Sour Gum. It has a caution on it. Eat one zapper at a time. Zappers are a very sour gum product. Some consumers may be sensitive to very sour sweets. Said Candy recommends you eat one at a time. All right, there's a caution on it. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at these. Big Zapper Sour, oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna try a yellow one. See if I can dig it. Wow. Oh. That is very sour, but, but tolerable. Mm -hmm. It's quite sour, but because it's a gum, you can chew it up and the sourness really dissipates. So it's not too bad. In terms of flavor, I can't really pinpoint any specific kind of flavor. It's just sour. <laughs> Maybe a lemon. And if we're doing a sour candy kind of comparison, I would say these are much better than the warheads that we have here in the States. If you missed that video, I tasted sour warheads. They're a kind of candy that you can find here in the US that are super sour. It's not a gum, but again, in the same realm of this super intense sourness. These are better. Yeah. And you're left with a little piece of gum to chew. Nice. So this is a Fry's chocolate cream. This is an old fashioned company called Fry's. I've had their mint bar, which is amazing. So it says it's a rich dark chocolate with a smooth fondant center. Oh, this got a little squash on this side. I think this side will be all right. Oh, but look at that. I love how it says fry, 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 fry on it. Okay, so snap a piece. And that's what it looks like inside. It looks a lot like a York peppermint patty inside. Oh, it smells really lovely of dark chocolate. All right, let's give that a taste. Mm, really nice dark chocolate flavor and snap. In the middle is a fondant, which is very sweet, but actually goes really nicely with the bitterness of the dark chocolate. Really kind of nice little balance there. But I'm really craving mint. <laughs> I'm having a little bit of a Pavlovian experience because I really want this to be mint. This combination of dark chocolate and fondant filling, really, I think I'm conditioned at this point for this to be mint. So, yeah. It's still delicious, but I just want a little bit of peppermint. <laughs> Mm. Next, we have two little lozenges. They're both made by the Richie's company. One is cinnamon, and this one is clove. And these are another old-fashioned treat. Let's try the cinnamon one first. I love this packaging. And Joshi mentioned in my Emmy Eats Ireland Part 2 video in which Donald sent me a bunch of really great Irish candies that I tasted something by Richie's and it was called Milky Mint. And Donald, if you're watching, Happy New Year. And Joshi tells me that he met you a couple years ago, so he wanted me to say hello to you once again. All right, so let's go back to the task at hand, which is eating these. And these are Richie's cinnamon lozenges. And let's open this up. Oh, wow, look at this. And they look like tablets with a light kind of peach color to them. Ooh, very strong cinnamon smell. And this reminds me of a candy that I had from Scotland. And they were called tatties, and they look like little potatoes. A very strong cinnamon smell to those as well. And same kind of chalky color, but those look like potatoes. Let's see how these compare. Mmm. Wow. And they do have a very chalky consistency to them. A little bit dry. And very strong, spicy cinnamon heat and flavor to them. Nice. 
a very strongly flavored candy, but I think would be very effective in eliminating odoriferous emanations from your, you know, mouth. Good. <laughs> Let's try the next Richie's one, and this one is clove. And this one, I imagine, is going to be very similar to the cinnamon lozenge, but clove flavored instead. This one has a very bright pink color to it, and it looks very similar to the cinnamon, but pink. Ooh, very strong clove smell. I'm not a huge fan of clove. It reminds me of old-fashioned palm panders that people use to put in their lingerie drawers. But, all right, let's give it a taste. Here we go. Mmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it is similar to that candy that I had in Scotland, the Taddies, with the cinnamon and the clove flavors. But for me, clove is really, really, really strong. A little harsh for me, but definitely acquired. Yes, but I think it would be very effective in breath freshening as well. Mm. And these are made by the Oatfield Company and they're called Eskimo Mints, mint flavored boiled sweets. So boiled sweets, here in the US, we call them hard candies. And yeah, Joshi says, this is a very old Irish company that have been making sweets for over 85 years. They're very popular among all ages here in Ireland and they're scrumptious no matter how you eat them. There's some nice old fashioned pictures here of the tradition of sweets making. Oh, these are lovely. Look at this packaging. How cute are these? Oatfield Eskimo. Oh, I can already smell the peppermint. And there's the beautiful mint. It's got this really nice aqua color to it. And it smells very pepperminty. All right, here we go. Let's give that a taste. And I don't know if there's anything inside. I'll have to bite and see. All right, here we go. Mmm, that is great really clean, fresh, pepperminty flavor. And it's a little bit mentholated as well, but nice and icy. Stronger than a candy cane, but just as sweet. Let's see if there's anything inside. Mm -mm. Nothing inside, just a really nice, strong mint with a tinge of mentholated iciness in there. Delicious. It's for those moments where you have a throat tickle and you're in a public event and it's supposed to be totally, utterly silent and then you feel like you're gonna explode unless you cough. And then you whip out your ESCO moment, pop that in and you're like, ah. You're not crying and your eyes aren't watering because you don't have to like hold in that cough. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go put these in my purse right now. <laughs> all right, so that concludes my little taste of Ireland. Lovely Joshi, thank you so much for sending me all these Irish treats. It was delightful. And like all my country tasting videos, I'm just wanting to visit these countries even more. So yeah, I hope to make it to Ireland someday. My husband actually has some ancestry back there, so hopefully I will make it there. Hmm, someday. All right, I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Please let me know in the comments below if any of these treats were familiar to you or if there's anything specific that you'd like to see me eat. I am always reading your comments. Oh yeah, don't forget to check out my other channel, Emmy Made, where I make fun things like Jolly Rancher Roses. All right, thanks as always for watching. I hope you guys enjoy that. I hope you guys learned something. Don't forget to follow, like, and subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. And two tablespoons of mayo. It seems kind of like a lot, but whatever. One, two. I know, can you believe it? I can't even imagine my life without avocado.